Hey drummers, it's Rob Litton here. Welcome to this free beginner drum lesson where today I want to talk about shuffle drum beats. As always, I've got the free PDF to come with this lesson. You can download this from my website. You'll find a link to it beneath uh, this video. So have this printed out in front of you as we go through this together. It's going to make things a lot easier for you to understand. Uh, in this uh, series of beginner lessons, as always, I've got for you five different examples sort of increasing in the difficulty and a fun one at the end, which is sort of more intermediate, advanced sort of idea, but sort of shows you where you can take these, these type of uh, drum beats. So the first thing to understand is what we're working with. So um, <clears throat> when we we're playing in triplets, and we've sort of done, uh, I've, I've showed you some examples of triplet based drum beats in previous lessons where we're playing all three notes of the beat on the hi-hat for example, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. We're feeding triplets, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. But with this shuffle drum beat, it's a very distinctive sort of idea where we're just playing the first and the third notes of the triplet with our right hand. And you can play it anyway, you can play the floor tom, right and we'll show you an example of that later on. I'm going to be using just the hi-hat to keep things simple to start off with. So it's getting this rhythm down. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. <clears throat> and when you start to speed it up and you sort of, you're, you're, you're sure you've got the lilt, you can count it. One and two and three and four and one to so obviously to count all the triplet notes. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet is a bit of a mouthful. Once you've got the rhythm down, dit, 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 and you're sure of the spacing, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. It has that distinctive lilt because we're playing in groups of three. We're missing out that middle note of the triplet, just playing the first and the third notes. Once you start spinning up, you can start counting at one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. It just makes things a lot easier if you sort of feel where the beat is and not have to um, wear your tongue out. So the first example, very, very simple stuff. Classic sort of um, bass drum, snare drum pattern, playing one and two and three and four, but of course we'll be swinging it. One and two and three and four and, and with the hi-hat over the top, one and two and three and four and one. And when you first start with these at this slow tempo, make sure you count out all the triplet notes. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, or if you like, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, just to make sure you're getting the spacing of those hi-hat notes correct. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. And now let me play that for you slowly up to a faster speed without me yakking on over the top so you can hear just the drums. Here we go. So for my next example, I've just added in an extra bass drum note on the and of beat three, another very popular basic drum beat pattern, but with the shuffle hi-hat over the top. So we're playing, play it slowly for you. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. It's the three and four and. So we've got bass drum falling on the first and the third note of beat three there. and slowly up to a faster speed. So for B3, another very, very common drum beat. Uh, a bit trickier this one because we're um, uh, not always playing on the down beats. Beat three is being skipped over with the bass drum or snare drum. We're still playing the hi-hat note, but we're playing the bass drum on the and of two just before beat three, and then the and of three, the note after beat three. So slowly it sounds like this. One and two and three and four. That's a tricky bit there. 
and three, play just the and on its own. And three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. And if you're playing it slowly, when you first start on this, one trip, look, two trip, one trip, look, two trip, look, three trip, look, four trip, look. Actually it makes it a little bit trickier to, to count all the notes over the top, but you're really then being sure that you are honestly feeling all the triplet notes um, when you're playing it. Anyway, slowly up to a faster speed. So for beat four, I'm just having a bit of fun with the snare drum bat beat, playing an extra snare drum note on the and of beat two, and then playing the bass drum on the and of three, and then also on the and of four, where we get two bass drum notes falling on the and of four, and then beat one. So we got, we've had examples where we played on the first and the third note with the bass drum, now we're playing on the third and the first note, if that makes sense, because you're going to hear it go and one when we loop the bar around. So slowly, one and two and three and four and one and two, and three. So again, before we had and three, now it's and three. And at the end of the bar, four and one. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And up to speed. So finally for beat five, I've sort of taken in um, some of the other ideas from previous examples, but I've also added in ghost notes. So we haven't talked at all in this lesson about playing the middle note of the triplet. And of course you can, you can sort of improvise with a shuffle pattern, you have to play it strictly all the way through. You could add in extra notes. And with the snare drum as well, um, playing these ghost notes, which are written in the middle note of beat one and beat three, written in brackets, they're supposed to be played quietly. You could play them loudly, and I can show you that in a, sec in a second, or normal volume, but to make this groove sound as I'm going to show you it, you have to be able to tap the drum lightly. So this is definitely not a beginner thing, it's more intermediate, but you can have a go at this and see how you get on. I mean, there's, there's nothing stopping you from trying more advanced ideas at the beginning stages. So slowly, and this is a tricky one to get, played slowly. One triplet, two trips. So there, that bit there, one triplet. I'm playing that, it's just a little tap. Literally, that's all I'm playing. One triplet, two. And three triplet four and and also notice that I'm only counting one and two and for beats two and four because there's nothing falling on the on the middle note the triplet. But to start off with, I will be counting all the triplet notes in beats one and three because we have got something falling on that middle note. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four and one and improvise. Three triplet four and one triplet two and three triplet four. And one. And of course you can play up on the right symbol. Really nice groove. Let me show you that played up to speed. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. As always, you can email me, robertdrumstheword.com if you've got any questions. Don't forget to download the free PDF that came with this lesson. Again, the link is beneath this video. 
And while you're at my website, you might want to consider signing up to become an online member. And what I currently offer for £97 is a full year's online access to every single full video song lesson I've ever recorded and transcribed. And unlike these lessons where I teach you sort of beginning uh, basic ideas, uh, in my uh, song lessons I teach you full songs from start to finish. I've got over 550, almost 600 famous and popular songs where I teach you the song from start to finish, as I said again. Every single bar is included and you get the fully transcribed PDF drum chart. And like I said, I've got hundreds of famous and popular songs up on the website already, so check those out. As a thank you for signing up, I give you access to hundreds more little videos teaching many, many famous drum beats, fills, and even drum solos. I give you three ebooks I've written over the years containing hundreds more famous drum beats, fills, and solos. And then over the year of your subscription, you also gain instant online access to all the new material that I upload for my members. And I record new lessons every week unless I'm ill or on holiday. So you've got lots of cool stuff to look forward to over the year of your subscription. But if you've got any questions about any of that, then feel free to email me, robertdrumstheword.com. And until our next drum lesson together, toodle pip and happy drumming to you.